This is Fitness Blender's Bus Booster Chest Workout. In this routine, we're going to be doing three rounds of seven different exercises and 12 repetitions of each exercise. Now, we haven't included a warm up or a cool down in this routine, so you're going to want to make sure you do a warm up before you get started. Now, you're going to need a couple of dumbbells for this routine, or you can replace them with water bottles like we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get started with round number one. Our first exercise is the roundabout push ups. This is just a little bit of a different variation on a traditional push up. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Come up to a full push-up position off those knees or off those toes. You're going to drop down to the right, slowly making a big circle down towards the mat, then up across the left side, pausing back the full extension right back in the center. And then do that same motion but in reverse, down the left side, down nice and close to the mat in the middle, then up across the right side, back to that full extension. Just keep alternating back and forth. Try to get as low as you can each time and try to shift your weight left to right as much as you can each time. Now with any push-up, you want to make sure you're keeping that back really nice and flat, keeping those hips down, straight line from shoulder to knee, or if you're doing a full push-up, from shoulder all the way down to your ankle. Just two more repetitions. And one more down and back around. And go ahead and let it relax. Let's move on to the next exercise, the chest press pulls. Now grab those dumbbells for this one, or you can use water bottles like we're using here. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Standing up nice and straight and tall with that back in a neutral position. Make sure you're not kicking that chest back or forward. You're going to bring those hands straight up in front of your chest so your elbows are directly in front of your shoulder joint. Hands directly above that elbow. Holding onto that dumbbell or that, that water bottle really nice and tight. Then you're going to drop those arms off to the side. Bring those elbows back behind you. Squeezing them back behind you as far as you can and dropping that forearm down so it's parallel to the ground. Try to keep that elbow up as high as you can but squeezing it back behind you as much as possible. And then bring that elbow straight back forward again so that upper arm is level with the ground and that forearm is pointing straight up in the air perpendicular to the ground. Just keep moving those arms back and forth, get a nice tight squeeze in the back and the front, just making sure that you're actually working against yourself the entire time. This is your last one right here. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the single leg tricep dips. Now, if you can't do the single leg, you can always do it with both, but try it with single leg if you can. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Bring those hips up off the ground, then slowly drop down, bending those elbows. All that motion from that body should be coming primarily from that elbow and that shoulder joint. So you just want to drop down as low as is comfortable and then press it right back up. Try and keep that torso relatively rigid. Go ahead and switch those legs and do the same thing on the other side. Now if this version of a tricep dip feels a little bit funny to you, then feel free to switch this out with a tricep dip off of a bench or off of a chair. Just try to keep the form relatively close. And go ahead and let it relax. Let's move on to the next one, the bent over ventral raise and squeeze. Go ahead and grab those dumbbells or water bottles again. Go ahead and get ready. And begin with a nice flat back. Your tip straight forward at those hips. Keep those knees slightly bent. Those arms are going to come straight up to about shoulder height or as high as you can control. And then squeeze those elbows down towards your rib cage, pulling them down like you're doing a lat pull down. Uh, like you're trying to work against yourself as well. So you want that shoulder and that lat muscle to actually work against each other the entire time. Then nice and slow, press those arms back out, then slowly drop those hands back down underneath that chest and start the motion all over again. Try not to get any swing going on. You want a nice, slow, controlled motion, nice, slow, tight squeeze every single time. And we've just got two more repetitions. Remember, nice, slow, controlled motion. A little bit of a bend in that knee, making sure that back is nice and flat. So one left. Nice, slow, fluid motion. Tight squeeze, pulling those elbows down. And slowly back. All right, go ahead and let that one relax. Let's move on to the next exercise, the tiptoe planks. 
Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Come up in that full plank position on those tiptoes and those elbows. And then nice and slow, rock back and forth with as much range of motion as you can. Try and get your shoulders as far forward over those elbows as you can, and then trying to pull those shoulders back behind those elbows as far as you can. Now you're limited on the range of motion on how flexible that calf is as well as how flexible that ankle is. So only push as far as you can control, as far as is comfortable, but constantly be trying to push your range of motion as much as you can. Now the main thing you want to focus on is keeping that back nice and flat and those shoulders pressed down away from you. All right, go ahead and let that one relax. Let's move on to the next one, the diagonal shoulder raise. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Stand nice and straight and tall with that right arm first. Bring it up and out to the side so it's pointing up away from you about a 45 degree angle off of your body. Then slowly bring that arm down at a diagonal across your body, ending with it in front of your left hip. Then slowly bring it straight back up, keeping that elbow almost perfectly straight the entire time. Just moving back and forth, nice, slow, fluid motion. Make sure you get a nice, tight squeeze at to the top, pulling back away from you as well as up. Just keep that motion going nice and slow under control. Just focus on getting a nice, full range of motion. Just make sure you don't rotate your shoulders. Just a couple more repetitions. And let it relax. All right, we're going to switch arms, do the same exact thing on that left arm this time. Nice and slow down in the diagonal position, ending in front of that right hip, then slowly back up again, finishing in that original position with that arm about a 45 degree angle up off of that shoulder. And just two more repetitions. We're gonna keep that arm just a little tiny bit bent. Here's your last one right here. Bring it up nice and high. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise, the push-up planks. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Nice and slow, come up into that full plank position. Then you're gonna slowly come up onto that right arm first, pressing up. Then that left arm to a full extension, a full push-up position. Then back down onto that left elbow, back down onto that right elbow. Then up with that left hand, up with that right hand. Then put that right hand back down, left hand back down. And then basically start that motion right back over again. So the idea is that you actually want to be coming up off of that floor with the opposite arm every single time. Dropping back down onto the floor with that opposite arm every single time. So it's going to take a little while to get used to that motion. Just take your time and move slowly. And that was the last repetition of round number one. Go ahead and pause it here if you need to. Otherwise, we're going to start round number two in just a second. All right, let's go ahead and get started with round number two, starting back over with the roundabout push-ups. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. So start from that full push-up position, back nice and straight, hips low, straight line from your shoulder down to your knee if you're doing a half push-up, or from your shoulder down to your ankle if you're doing a full push-up. Nice, slow, fluid motion down across the right, down to the center, up across the left, back to the center, and then reverse that motion down the left, back to the center, and up across the right, back to the center. Just keep alternating back and forth, pausing at the top each time to switch directions. Just two more repetitions. Here's your last one right here. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the chest press and pulls. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. 
Using those dumbbells or water bottles, start with a nice squeeze, pulling those elbows back behind you, then pulling those elbows up in front of that chest, pulling those elbows together nice and tight, squeezing with that chest, then nice and slow pulling it back using those rhomboids, that upper shoulder blade area to pull those elbows back behind you, nice tight squeeze, then right back up again. Remember you want those forearms parallel to the ground as you squeeze back and perpendicular to the ground when you pull those elbows forward in front. Just two more repetitions. Get your last one right here. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise, the single leg tricep dips. Now remember these can also be done in a chair or off of a bench. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Kick one leg up in the air. Nice and slow, bend those elbows, dropping down as low as you can to the ground while at the same time as trying to keep those hips up off the ground as high as you can. Then slowly press it right back up, full extension on that elbow. Don't lock it out completely, you want just a little bit of a bend. Go ahead and switch sides, we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. And two more. Drop that leg and let it relax. All right, let's go move on to the next one, the bent over ventral raise and squeeze. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. With those knees slightly bent and that back perfectly flat, you're gonna tip straight forward from that hip joint until your chest is parallel to the ground, and then nice and slow, bring those arms up to about shoulder height, nice and slow, then squeeze those elbows down to your sides, pinching those elbows down to your rib cage, then slowly pressing it back out before you let those hands fall back down underneath your chest. Just keep alternating through that motion, nice slow fluid raise with those arms, and then squeezing them back to your sides, really working against yourself the entire time, then slowly pressing those arms back out, again working against yourself, then slowly let your arms drop back down. Just keep that motion going nice and smooth. Just keep that motion going nice and slow. Keep checking that lower back. You want it nice and flat. Almost done. Just one more repetition. Tight squeeze, pulling those elbows back, and slowly let it relax back down. All right, go ahead and let it completely release. Let's move on to the next one, the tiptoe planks. Go ahead and get ready. And begin, coming up onto those tiptoes and elbows in that full plank position, keeping that back nice and flat. You're gonna slowly shift your weight back and forward so those shoulders are up over top of those forearms, then slowly shifting them back again, trying to get them back behind those elbows as far as you can, then nice and slow back forward again. Just keep that motion going nice and slow under control. Just make sure you keep checking that lower back, keeping that back nice and flat. Don't let it sway, don't let it dip. You wanna keep those abs nice and tight the entire time. Almost done, and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the diagonal shoulder raises. Go ahead and get ready, and begin. Holding that dumbbell or those water bottles again, starting with that right arm first, bring it up to about a 45 degree angle off of that chest, pointing up away from you, and slowly drop that arm down in front of that body, ending at about right in front of that hip joint, that left side, and then slowly bring it right back up again out to the right. Just keep alternating back and forth between those positions, nice, slow, fluid, controlled motion, that elbow just slightly bent, that back nice and flat and straight. Just two more repetitions.
And go ahead and let it relax. We're going to switch arms. Start with that left arm out about a 45 degree angle off to the left side of your body. Then down nice and slow in a diagonal to end in front of that right hip. Then right back up again. Just keep alternating back and forth between those two positions. Again, nice slow fluid motion. Elbow slightly bent. Back nice and flat. Almost done, just two more repetitions. Slowly back down. And go ahead and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise, the push-up planks. Go ahead and get ready. And begin, come up into that full plank position, nice and slow, walking up into a full push-up. Then slowly back down. Remember, you want to come up with an opposite arm every single time. Go back down with the opposite arm first every single time. Just keep alternating back and forth. The easiest way to do that for me is to change at the top. So every time you come up, that last hand to come up off the ground is the first hand to go right back down again. So some people like to change the bottom. Some people like to change the top. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure you're alternating which hand you start with every single time. And there's your last one. And let it relax. All right, that was the end of round number two. Go ahead and pause it here if you need a little extra rest. Otherwise, we're starting to round number three in just a second. All right, let's go ahead and start round number three, starting back over with the roundabout push ups. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Remember, starting that full push-up position, nice straight back, straight line from that shoulder all the way down into that knee or all the way down to that ankle. Start that nice big circle, dropping down to the right, down as low as you can get to the ground, up across the left, pausing back at the top, reversing directions back across. So just keep that motion going. Remember, as much range of motion as you can, left to right and up and down. Check that back, make sure you have a nice flat back. You have two more repetitions. Keep a straight line from that shoulder to that knee, we're almost done. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the chest press pulls. Go ahead and get ready. And begin, bring those arms up nice and high. That arm parallel to the ground, squeezing those elbows back behind you as tight as you can. Then slowly bring those arms up in front, pinching those elbows together, kind of working against yourself. Squeeze those arms as well as trying to pull them out at the same time. Then slowly bring those arms back out flat, parallel to the ground, squeezing back as tight as you can at the same time as pulling forward. Now just keep that motion going nice and slow under control. Make sure you get a nice tight squeeze in both positions. And we're almost done. Two more repetitions, squeeze those elbows back. Arms come up, squeeze those elbows in. Back one more time, nice tight squeeze, back up, squeeze those elbows in, and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the single leg tricep dips. Remember, you can do this off of a bench or a chair if it feels more comfortable to you. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Bring those hips up off the ground. Nice and slow, bend those elbows straight back behind you, dropping down as close to the ground as you can without actually completely touching, trying to keep those hips up high, and then slowly press it right back up until that elbow is almost completely extended. Right, let's go ahead and switch legs, start that motion over again. Just a couple more repetitions. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise. Next one coming up is the bent over ventral raise and squeeze. Get ready. And begin. Keep that back nice and flat. Tip straight forward from those hips until that chest is parallel to the ground. 
Then slowly bring those arms straight up in front over top of that head until you have them about shoulder height. Then slowly pinch those elbows back down towards your rib cage, down towards your waist, get a tight squeeze. Then shove them straight back out over top of your head and slowly let those arms drop back down underneath your chest. Just keep going back and forth, nice slow fluid motions. Get a nice tight squeeze as you raise those arms and a tight squeeze as you pull those elbows back to your sides. We're almost done. Check that form. Make sure that back is really nice and flat, kind of tilting that chest up towards the wall in front of you. Knees slightly bent. Almost finished. Just two more. And just one more repetition left. Tight squeeze, pulling those elbows back. Straighten them all the way back out, and then slow let those arms drop back down. All right, go ahead and let it relax. Let's move on to the next one, the tiptoe planks. Go ahead and get ready, and begin. Go ahead and come up in that full plank position on those elbows and toes, then nice and slow, moving as much as you can, forward and backward. Try and get those shoulders out in front of those elbows as much as you can, and then pulling those shoulders back behind those elbows as much as you can. Just keep trying to work that range of motion as much as possible. Really check that back, make sure it stays completely flat, and those abs are nice and tight the entire time. Almost done. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the diagonal shoulder raise. Go ahead and get ready. And begin, starting with that right arm first, holding a dumbbell or a water bottle, whichever you prefer, nice and slow, bring it up and out to the right side of your body, about a 45 degree angle off that body, then nice and slow, down in front of your body, out to the outside of that left hip, then slowly back up again. Try to keep that arm completely straight, just a slight bend in that elbow, just nice and slow, moving back and forth between those two positions. Almost done. Just two more repetitions. Nice, slow, controlled motion. Still trying to keep that arm completely extended. Just a little bit of a bend. This is your last one. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and switch arms. We're going to do the same thing on that left arm. Starting at 45 degree angle off the left side of that body, then nice and slow down to the outside of that right hip, then slowly back up again. Almost done. Keep checking that arm. Make sure you bring it all the way up to that 45 degree angle every single time. Slowly back down outside of that hip. Now that shoulder's probably burning by now. You just have one more full repetition. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the push-up planks. Really focus on trying to do the hardest version you can with a nice clean form because the last exercise of this routine. Let's go ahead and get ready. And begin. Come up into that plank position. Nice and slow, come up with that right arm first, then that left arm, then slowly back down with that left arm and that right. Just keep cycling through that. Remember, a real easy way to remember it is you're moving left arm, right arm, left arm, right arm until you come up off the ground. That last arm to come up off the ground is going to be the first arm you put back down. That's going to help you keep that cycle so you're doing alternating arms. Uh, if you need to, drop down on those knees to make it a little bit easier. But if you can, stay up on those toes as long as you possibly can. Remember, this is the last exercise of this routine. Just two more repetitions. Last one, back down, and let it relax. All right, good job, workout complete. You just finished Fitness Blender's Bus Booster Chest Workout.